boys, what's up? Slipside4 here, and today I'm going to show you guys the long-awaited how to get creative mode for Terraria 1.3 and above. <clears throat> now, I've been getting a bunch of comments, trust me, I've been bombarded with comments yelling at me for saying this <clears throat> uh, version of creative mode does not work with Terraria uh, 1.3. Uh, does this work with Tomorrow, Terraria 1.3? All that kind of stuff. And today, I'm finally, or I have finally come with the answer that God has brought upon us. How to get Terraria. I'm, oops, I already messed it up. Cool, awesome. How to get creative mode for Terraria 1.3 and above. So, the first thing is not how, how to get the mod, but first we're going to start... Um, kind of backing up our, you know, our save data, you know, our guys and our worlds. So, we can't use the cloud backup because I'm actually going to have you guys turn that off um, because the mod will not work with it. So, what we're going to do first is you're just going to want to go down into your files folder. Or, by doing this, you can go into the Windows 10 menu or the Windows 8 menu or whatever. Just click on File Explorer. This should pop up. Now, from here you're going to go to Documents, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to go to My Games. Now, I don't know if the Terraria folder can be somewhere down here. Just look for a folder that says Terraria, okay? Now, if you're following me, if we go into My Games and you scroll all the way down, oh, you're going to find Terraria right here. This is vaguely what it should look like. Just look for the folders that says Players and Worlds. This will only work, um, I think this will only work if you have Terraria on Steam, uh, but if you cracked it, I believe this should still be here as well. Now, I have Terraria on Steam, so that's how we're going to do it uh, that way. If you do have Terraria cracked, this should still work. Uh, it's just that you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't need to follow me step by step because uh, we're going to go to Steam to make it easier for us to find our files. So you're just going to take these two files, Players and World, you're just going to copy them and put them safe, somewhere safe. I'm going to put them on my desktop just in case. And I made a folder by accident. Don't know why I did that. We're just going to put them on our desktop. We're just going to put them right over here just for safekeeping. Uh, now, while we're already here, we want to make another folder called mod loader make sure the m and the l are both capitalized and make sure the two words do not have a space we're going to copy basically everything in here we're going to copy it and we're just going to paste it into this mod loader um folder okay now while we're here uh one more thing that you're going to want to do is you're just going to go into terraria you just want to click open the game I'm actually going to put my volume all the way down because I don't have headphones on, uh, so I don't want you guys hearing the game through the microphone. So, we're just going to wait for Terraria to set up. And you want to go to single player, and you want to make sure that move to cloud, all these little move to cloud buttons are turned off. Uh, when they're on, the cloud should be a green color. If you see the green on the cloud, just click on it and it should turn it off. You want to go to another one of your. Um, you want to go to one of your uh, guys, and then do the same thing with all of your worlds. This is why previously I told you to back it up just in case, so you don't need the cloud. You just want to make sure that none of these have the little gr uh, green cloud icon. If it does, just click it. You'll be all set. We're gonna leave Terraria for right now. We're gonna be back in a minute now to actually start up on the actual mod. Now, I already have the mod page up here, but I am going to link it in the description for all of you uh, people, just in case, all right? So you don't have to worry about, you know, having to search the internet. I will have the link down in the description for you below. Now, we're going to scroll down until we find this little thing right here. Say current version, version 0.8.1.2, and this is direct download links. We're, because I'm using Windows, I'm going to click on Windows, but if you guys have Mac or Linux, 
um, you guys should do this as well. Now, I do not know if the mod, because this is just the mod loader, we're actually going to acquire the mod from inside of the mod loader, and I do believe that the mod itself is only available for Windows. You can try this out, uh, everyone who has uh, all the Mac users and Linux users out there, but Windows, I know, uh, has this mod that works. So we're just going to click on it, it's going to take us to Mediafire, you just can click on download. Uh, there might be pop-ups, uh, but just ignore them, X out of them, and your download should just start down right here. Okay, now that this is all set, we're just going to open it, and it should open uh, inside of, you know, 7-Zip or WinRAR, which is what I have. I'm using WinRAR right now. Uh, if you have 7-zip, it should look like this. You should see add, extract. Just f look for where it says extract. Click on it. And we're just going to extract it to our desktop, which is the easiest thing. So I'm just going to click on desktop. Okay. And okay. So now, if we go to our desktop, hopefully, it should be there and it's not they failed me great awesome so I'm just gonna go quickly back to my downloads folder where it should have downloaded um, just gonna look for it real quickly boop, 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 boop. here it is right here and I'm just gonna put this and my computer's freaking out right now don't know why this is happening I'm so sorry guys alright now it's on our desktop and we're just going to click extract here, which is probably what I should have done first. Now, all of this stuff should just pile right onto your desktop. Uh, this is not mandatory. You don't have to do this. Uh, but if you want to, just to make it cleaner, uh, just move all this stuff into another folder. You don't have to do this, but I feel like I should do this just because it's just cleaner. Okay. Now we're going to go into now we're actually going to go into the files of Terraria itself. You're going to go into Steam and see where it says Terraria. You're going to right click Terraria down here and click on properties. You're going to go to local files and click on browse local files. Now I'm going to take you by step by step. Now you should see a Terraria.exe already in here. You're going to rename it something else, but make sure that you know it's that file, uh, just so you can rename it back later if you don't want the mod anymore. I'm going to show you how to uninstall the mod after we install it. So I'm just going to put, uh, you know what, let's add a semicolon. Oh, I can't put a semicolon. Can I put a period? I can't put a period. So I'm just going to put a period just so it, the game will not read Terraria.exe when it tries to execute the file. So now we're going to put the modded Terraria.exe, kind of like how we did in the last time. Last time we uh, did this, we completely just replaced the Terraria.exe, uh, but this time it's just a little bit more in-depth, a little bit harder. Uh, now that we've done that, we're just going to X out of here, X out of here, and basically we're almost done. We're going to go back into Steam. If you followed me thus far... I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. I don't think I forgot anything. It should take a little while to load the code, but after a few seconds, it should just speed right on up there. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, we have three more things. We have mods, mod sources, and mod browser. You're going to click on mod browser. Okay. Now, this entire thing shows up. Now, it's going to be very hard for us to find it, considering just how many mods are in here. So we're just going to quickly click on the upper left-hand corner of this little window, so it goes, it sorts it through from A to Z. We're going to scroll down until we find Cheat Sheet right here. You're just going to download it. Okay, and it's going to, a little pop-up should appear saying that it is disabled right now. You're going to need to enable it and then reload. So we're just going to click back. Yeah, see right here. It says your recently downloaded mods are currently disabled. Remember to enable and reload if you intend to use them. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 
So we're going to click on mods and as we can see it's right here. We're going to enable all of them and then you're going to click over here to reload mods. Okay. Now single player we're gonna click over here now if you did everything correctly you should still have all of your guys and all of your worlds if you didn't then you're gonna wanna go back into the previous folder where we moved all of our uh, people into the mod loader folder that's why we're actually able to use these guys because it's on the mod loader folder so we're just gonna click on play and we're just gonna click on a random world let's just use this one Can wait for the map to load. Okay, so as we can see, similar to the one before, it has this little pop up menu, which is awesome. If we click on the first one, it says Show Item Browser, and as we can see, it looks nearly identical to the one that we had before. You have all items, weapons, tools, armor, accessories, blocks, ammo, potions, expert, furniture, pets, mounts, cycle, mod specific, whatever. It actually has a little bit more stuff than from the previous mod. You know, you have all your stuff here. You can even search for stuff, blah, blah, blah. It's basically the same thing. NPC browser. You, you can spawn all the enemies in this game. Pretty awesome. We have all NPCs, bosses. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Town NPCs and cycle mod specifics. The mod specifics is just if you have other mods um, that you have as well as this one. Uh, it actually has, it's kind of like a sub mod. I don't know. It's kind of weird. We're not going to uh, talk about that right now because it's not very necessary for this uh, thing. Show repercy, repercy, the repercies, the recipe browser. You know, pretty awesome, honestly. <laughs> we can clear items on the ground. It's basically the same thing, uh, probably with some minor tweaks, and probably not a lot uh, as much as the other one. Well, there you guys go. Finally, it is here. Uh, it's not as easy, but hey, having creative mode in Terraria is definitely a great time. Now, I do apologize if this isn't, isn't exactly what you guys wanted from the previous one, but I really hope it's as similar as we can get. Um, unfortunately, I think the other one, the Gameki one uh, that we had before, uh, has been discontinued. Um, I'm not completely sure, but... Uh, I did read on the forums of this specific mod that we're using. It's called Cheat Sheet. Um, and it said that they were actually given permission by Gameki uh, to use the similar UI. You know, it's basically the same thing. Anyway, guys, I really hope this helped. I, I'm i really sorry if you guys uh, messed up somewhere. If you guys need any help, please email me at slipreply at gmail.com. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you had a great day. Smell is one of my stick candles and it's subscription for sliding out. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I think um, I'm only going to do YouTube for these, you know, important things like tutorials and stuff like that because really my, um, I just haven't been having fun at all. Anyway, bye guys.